Tip number four, be careful with photo and video copyrights when promoting online. It's easy for us to get some photos. It's easy for us to grab them, use them, and recycle them as our poster. But remember, while it's not going to be easy to be called out because there are just too many content there online, you don't want to be that unfortunate one that one day someone's going to call you out for using their photo. So please look out only for photos, including music that you want to put in your video. They have to be, number one, copyright-free, license, or royalty-free. I want to emphasize this. Some videos and music and photos are copyright-free but are license-based. Some photos and videos are license-free, right? But you need to add additional payments for it. So what you want is 100%. Copyright-free, license-free. Sometimes, if you're looking for those videos or music, they will indicate it clearly. You can use this for your social media post. Those are the legit ones that you want to use. Otherwise, if they are not copyright-free, the owner of the photo or video can call you out and might sue you for it. So be careful. I want to emphasize this because man, it is not enough to put credits to the owner, okay? Guys, I'm going to laugh at this. It is not enough. There's a difference between using credits to the owner versus you credited the owner and you compensated for the owner for it. Credits will not put food on the table of the owner. What the owner wants is to be financially compensated for it. If you want to avoid that, please don't use their photos. Okay? So, John, can you give an example? This is something that I've posted online. My favorite, which I want to invite you all to visit is Unsplash. Can I get the letter U? Can I please get letter U for this? Unsplash. The website is unsplash.com. I posted something like this on social media, 100% copyright free, license free, and it's even allowed for commercial use. Okay. By the way, important. Uh, this is very important. Some photos and videos are copyright-free and license-free, but you cannot use them for your online selling. There are even specific concepts like that. So please make sure that you have the permission to use it for your posters if you need to sell it. Unsplash.com allows you to do that. The only limitation of Unsplash is that you cannot use their photos if you want to resell the item, meaning you cannot resell the photo. You cannot put the photo into a mug or T-shirt and resell that T-shirt in bulk. That's also not allowed. It is good for creating webinar posters. It is good, for example, for doing events and you put it into a banner. That's also fine. I only discovered this this year. I think there was one member of the audience who mentioned this. I've totally forgotten who was that uh, member, but yeah. It's one of the things that help me in the end of the day. Okay. Can I get an exclamation mark? Are we learning something so far? I hope we are. Yes. Let me just check now. Some people are posting something online. Let me check your, how do you call this? The chat box. How about Canva? Canva is good, but Canva has a premium subscription. So there are for free items that you can use. But there are premium items. The good thing about Unsplash is that it's 100% for free. So I recommend to use both. Canva has its strengths. But if you can't find it on Canva, you can go to unsplash.com in the end. OK. Uh, for those wondering how does it look like on Splash, let me just open now my uh, account. I just want to show you how it looks like. That's where you believe in me that the quality of the photos are really good. So let's go to people. Let me change my screen. I want to, how they call this, show you guys and give you proof that this is worth visiting. So can I get an exclamation mark if you're now seeing my screen? You see that? You see these photos? These are all license-free, commercial-free. I go to fashion, and let's say I'm going to see these photos of people. That's a funny photo of a... Uh, those shoes are really big, by the way. Interiors. You see that? That's cute dog. These are all for free. 
commercial free, license free, copyright free. I can't believe it. But how do we know that it's for free? They're all donated by photographers and they're all admitted for license free usage. Can I get an exclamation mark? Isn't that amazing? For free, guys, for free. So it's good. So thank you, Unsplash. Whoever you are and whoever uh, invented Unsplash, I am forever grateful for it.